Hello everyone, in the latest uh, GeoBase update uh, we introduced uh, a better version of a trainer and today I'm going to show you how it works. To get to the trainer you need to open uh, this uh, tab uh, on the top. Then we see this little window and if we click start uh, then the first thing we do is um, entering the inputs. First which is the library. We have uh, two options right now which is uh, spin and go and uh, free uh, cash game library but we go with uh, spin and go. Then we choose a spot, uh, three spots available, button versus big blind, uh, heads up and small blind versus big blind. And finally we have to choose uh, an effective stack to work with. Let's go with 20 BBs. Next uh, we can choose a line to start from. If we leave this uh, blank uh, then we just start from the very beginning of the hand. Or we can click uh, right here and uh, choose a line uh, from where we want to start this hand. Could be anything, uh, let's go with uh, limb check uh, preflop and for example if we want to work uh, on our probe bets uh, on the turn then we go check check on the flop and click turn. And this is the line where all the hands uh, will start uh, in our training process. Limp foot preflop, uh, check check on the flop, and if we go uh, with uh, with the big blind, uh, then uh, we uh, we have to choose uh, what to do on the turn. We can either check or bet. If we go with uh, the small blind, then it could be that uh, our opponent either bets or checks. Uh, we can decide that, and we take action after. Or we can choose any, which means a random position every hand, or a switch, which means uh, one hand uh, big blind, one hand small blind, and so on. Then we have board filter, separate filters uh, for each street, uh, flop, turn, river. We can choose all, which means basically any possible flop, uh, or we can choose uh, filter. And then we can go with uh, certain filters uh, based on uh, suits, uh, could be rainbow, monotone, or uh, flash draw boards. We can also filter for paired or unpaired boards. And we can choose uh, the rank of cards, uh, could be high boards, uh, mid boards, uh, low boards, uh, could be a combination of uh, some, uh, some of those, uh, well, uh, it's all up to you. And finally, if we go with uh, predefined option, then we choose a certain board ourselves, any flop uh, we want to work on. And uh, all the same goes for turn and uh, river. We can either set a certain card or uh, apply uh, some filters. And finally we can choose the connectedness of the board. Uh, could be disconnected, could be connected to, or a uh, medium board. And yeah, if you go with the disconnected options the board will be uh, quite dry, uh, not so many gut shots, uh, straight draws and so on. So yeah, if we disable any filters uh, for all the streets and go with these uh, disconnected boards, uh, then we'll have uh, quite uh, static boards uh, with not so many uh, possible draws. And yeah, for example, if we want to work on our turn probes on uh, disconnected boards, uh, then we choose uh, those options and we click uh, start right here. And yeah, we see a somewhat drawy board, uh, but uh, there's no uh, straight uh, possible right now. And if I want to change uh, some of the parameters, uh, then I have to uh, uh, create a new session right here. And change uh, whatever I want. And for example, if I want to work on uh, my C bits uh, on the flop, uh, I uh, choose the flop option where uh, out of position player checks and the action is on us. Okay, now we see the table and uh, we go straight to the turn because we chose um, a big blind as uh, our position and of course we act first and uh, if we chose uh, check on the flop as the first action we can only act now on the turn. But if we choose a small blind here then we have a spot where our opponent checks on the flop and we have an option to see bet. Well, of course, if we make uh, out of position player check on the flop, uh, he can't uh, lead bet. So we only play this spot uh, when he checks uh, and we have an option to see bet. Then we have some options here on the left, uh, whether to show or hide uh, some information. And uh, what information do we have here? First of all, ranges. A hero range, which is uh, dynamic uh, and going to change uh, constantly, and uh, villain's range. And then we have uh, all the combos uh, in our range uh, right here on the right. And we also see here how we should play those combos so we can use it uh, as a hint 
as a little help uh, for our decision making process. And also uh, we have some information uh, down here uh, below uh, the table uh, where we can see all the uh, frequencies. Well, let me show you. If we choose an option like uh, bet, uh, for example, then we see two lines under each uh, action. Uh, first line, uh, top line, uh, represents uh, the way we should play with our uh, certain hand, with 6-7 uh, offsuit in this case, and the bottom line represents uh, how we uh, should play our range in the spot. And if we mouse over on um, any action down here uh, on those uh, little blocks, we see this uh, little pop-up window with all the actions and all the frequencies uh, for, uh, for a certain hand uh, and uh, for a range. It goes uh, both for the small blind and the big blind. And if we don't want to see uh, some of this information, if we want to make it uh, a little harder for ourselves, we can uh, hide ranges, uh, both uh, villain's range and uh, hero's range, and we can hide uh, combos. If you want to uh, focus on our decisions and uh, analyze the spot uh, later. And also we can hide uh, hand results, uh, which means that if we end the hand, uh, we have no idea if we were wrong or right. We will see it after we end the session. This way we imitate the real gameplay and uh, then we can uh, check uh, our results afterwards. But for now we leave it uh, as it is. Then if we mistakenly chose an action, uh, for example because of the mix click, uh, or we just made a mistake and think uh, that we should choose another option, we can always go back, we, we just uh, click on the action that we want to change uh, and uh, yeah, there you go. We get back uh, to the node that we want uh, and we can uh, choose um, the action uh, again. Next uh, we have some stats here on the left, uh, we see how many hands uh, we have played, uh, we see uh, how many of our actions uh, are actually correct and uh, how many mistakes uh, have we made. And we have a total EV loss of our session and an average uh, EV loss uh, per action. Or not per action, but uh, per hand rather. On the very bottom we have uh, our hand history, which we can hide uh, if we want to, or we can uh, show it. And if we want to analyze uh, a certain spot in the viewer, uh, we can for example here we want to see how our c-bet with uh, pocket 7s uh, looks like uh, in this spot. Then we go here in the uh, history and we click on an actual action that we want to analyze. Uh, so here it is, bet which is represented by this little b letter and we go straight to the viewer. And it opens uh, the action that we actually chose, so which is bet. Uh, if, we were, uh, if we went with check then uh, it would open uh, the check line. And now we can uh, take a look at uh, our range overall, which hands uh, we should bet, uh, which hands we should check, uh, and so on. Okay, let's go back to the trainer. And yeah, we can choose any action, preflop, uh, flop, uh, turn, whatever, and uh, jump uh, straight to the viewer. And uh, here on the right of uh, hand history we see the amount of EV lost in the hand, and if we actually lost uh, some EV, if we made a mistake, uh, then uh, there's a little uh, red uh, error sign. For example, let's uh, pick a huge size in here, which is uh, a mistake, certainly, yeah, and we see the EV loss of uh, uh, 0.97, and we also see the best action here, which is check. And we actually have to check 100%. Uh, we can also go to details here and see all the actions. We see the EV difference of uh, every other option uh, with our hand and we see uh, how we should play our range uh, right here on the right. Which action with which frequency we should use uh, with our range. By the way, there is a different way to open uh, this trainer. Uh, for example, if we, uh, if we want to analyze a certain spot, uh, a certain sit and go spot, uh, let's, uh, let's go with many, whatever. And for example we have a spot, uh, limp check, uh, flop, uh, I don't know, let's make it king check 9, uh, big blind checks, uh, small blind bets, uh, and we want to see how uh, big blind uh, uh, should react to this bet. And uh, we also want to practice this spot, but we don't want to copy all, uh, all those uh, lines, uh, all those uh, ranges and uh, flops texture and so on. We want to go to the trainer from here. And we can actually do that. 
there is this little button next to the position which actually transfers us uh, to the trainer. And we see that uh, the trainer opens with this exact spot, with this line and this flop. And we can of course uh, change anything we want, we can for example uh, make random flop but uh, this same line uh, and any position and we can start practicing from here. And uh, there is a similar transition from uh, the replayer. For example, we open a certain hand in our hand history and right here uh, on the right uh, there is a little button, train, if we click it we go to this certain note and we can start practicing uh, this spot uh, right away. We just click start and there we go, uh, this very same spot uh, and we can uh, start right away. So you can uh, go to the trainer from the replayer, from the viewer 